Okay, so today we're going to be installing a Packard Bell OEM install Windows 95 on 86 box. Okay, so, um, F disk. Already exists. Please make sure the Packard Bell CD ROM is in the drive. It's in the drive now. Oh yeah. So here we are in the Packard Bell uh, Master Restore. So you want to do restore hard drive files for Master CD. Then it's gonna do nothing for a few seconds and make you think that it uh, hung up on you. But actually, there it is. Okay. Okay. But um, really, this is gonna take forever because this computer slow as so. hell. Hey, big surprise, it worked. Yeah. Hi guys, I'm at the Starbucks and I spelled my name wrong, am I right guys? Haha. <laughs> it's a funny, funny, good one. Alright, so the restore completed, we're gonna be booting into the DOS boot disk. So we can look at the C drive. So. You can see it's installed. And we're gonna run auto exec. Hey, congratulations on the purchase of your new Packard Bell computer. We are sure that it will meet your computing needs. Thank you for choosing Packard Bell. You're welcome. Um. Oh, alright, so, yeah, this is what I'm talking about. See, there's some diagnostics detection thing here, whatever. It's interesting how you use a Windows 3.1 style window there. Uh, yep, Sound Blaster compatible, I got that, guys. Panasonic CD-ROM drive. Don't we all love the CD-ROMs you plug into the sound card? And notice how it's copying off all these disks here, but there's no CD-ROM activity. And that's because it's using the C slash Windows slash Options slash Cabs sort of thing. Which is something that everybody needs. So you don't have to keep digging out your uh, install CD every time you're installing drivers. <laughs> Detect hardware version 1. Detect hardware version 2. Alright. Pretty sure it's not actually going to detect anything. Since they don't have the original sort of CD drive or uh, Aztec sound card. I do have one right here. It's the original Aztec uh, Packer Bell sound card. And um, it is ISA, so I can't use it on any of my computers that work. And, you know, I think that'd be a fine sound card there. I someday I'm gonna have a working Windows 95 machine, and you know, just one that's proper, you know. All right, so here we are, um, Windows 95, and it makes me uncomfortable how there's no Windows 95 setup. It's just Windows 95. I accept that agreement. Certificate of Authenticity. Ah, Hey, this guy put a picture of his online. Whoop! This guy's legit. He's got the Certificate of Authenticity. Now this is the part where your computer crashes. This might take several minutes, so please be patient and don't turn off your computer. Oh no, it's taking too long. <laughs> turn off the computer. Yeah, getting ready to run Windows 95 for the very first time. There it is. Windows 95 setting up any plug-and-play devices. Jeez. Didn't just freeze, did it? What the hell? Well, since it froze, um, is it safe to reset here? I mean, what else, what else can I do, I guess? There we are. Microsoft Windows 95 without Internet Explorer. Are you hearing this? Oh, jeez. 
Oh no. Yeah, the classic do not answer calls thing down there. And we have a very laggy mouse. Should probably install some video drivers. No! No, that's not what I meant! No! It's the keyboard. It's the worst thing I've used my entire- I don't know why this keyboard's still on my desk. Not really. Okay, I get it. That's a delicious startup sound. Welcome to Navigator's Living Room. So you could tell something's seriously wrong with the sound, but we have our own fake Packer Bell computer. So, well, I do have a real Packer Bell computer, doesn't work, so it's the, it's the best we're gonna get. I don't have the Navigator CD, so, uh, Windows, Clouds, there we go, I fixed it. I put the CD in here just for some drivers and stuff, but as per all of my computers, I put abs.hat.net on there. So you can still pretend you're online. And it cannot load any CSS. Audio station. So you can play some midis. Pretty sure this is supposed to be way faster. Oh, I can't change MIDI volume. So anyways, there you go, that is a Packard Bell Windows 95 OEM install on a computer that's not even related to a Packard Bell. It's now safe to turn off your computer. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.